Hi all, today we're releasing the beta of the connection to interactive brokers for Jigsaw Day Trader. The instructions for connecting are in the Day Trader manual, as you can see here. Please have a read through, there's some notes in here about how to set it up, uh, things like lining up the time zones, which will probably line up for you anyway, uh, enabling API access in TWS, all that kind of things. Now, there are some tight subscription limits in TWS and with IB in general. So there's a few things we don't do, like we don't use data to calculate the open PL on your positions in a position window, but you can of course still see your open PL on the DOM and you can see your open PL on TWS. And these are things that will be addressed as we add a new data feed to support these scenarios. Now one of the first things you'll probably ask is how is the data? Because IB has typically had kind of poor data in terms of level one. So just let's just take a look at two different data. So I'll do first, I'll just open a depth and sales for gain. And you can see that there, and then I'll open a depth and sales for IB. Okay, now one of the things you will notice with IB, it does take a lot longer for the um, volume profile to load. And one of the things that you can actually do, um, if I just clear these, you'll see the data coming through. What you can actually do is mix and match. You can actually use ES, H20, the data's from Daniels, and then I can actually select the account from IB. So I can use one data feed to provide the data, and then I can actually put the trades through IB. Um, and we'll just pull that one up there. So that's kind of a mixed uh, one there. But if you can see, all that, even though it's got quite a slow time, it used to be that uh, IB used to kind of like send a pulse of the data through. But you can see that's now not the case, actually. If we can actually look um, at the, t the time and sales, it is actually showing the same data. So if you actually look uh, on this side and this side, um, it's basically the same. I think we've just got a print uh, on the wrong side there. Um, but basically the data in IB, it is pretty good, but you don't actually have to use the data in IB. You can just use the data from another feed and then route your trades through IB. So that's the first thing to take note of. Okay, and we can see that now finally uh, our IB volume profile is loaded. Again, you can see the data matches on the volume profile. So for me, IB data, yeah, it used to be a bit iffy, but now actually, yeah, I think it's good enough to drive an order flow application, but you just do have some subscription limits. So if you use another feed uh, for the data side and then just put your trades through IB, there won't be any subscription limits. You won't get hit with them. Okay, so we should just have a quick word about stocks and the way IB presents data for stocks. There are some feeds out there right now that you can get stock data for but there's a few different kinds of feeds. One of the feeds will basically give you the best bid and offer for each one of these MMs. The MM means market maker, it's kind of traditional, an old name, um, but it's also an exchange. So what you can see quite often, you'll only see, like for ARCA, you'd only see their top bid. You wouldn't see all the other ARCA bids. And what that does, it actually gives you something that looks like this and you get a lot of gaps in the depth, which also doesn't really look, you know, doesn't really look very good. So with IB, they've got lots and lots of data subscriptions, so you can actually subscribe for the full depth. And what we do at Jigsaw, we take that full depth and we consolidate it. So instead of seeing all these gaps here and seeing lower numbers, you actually get the full depth. Now, the other thing you can see that we're doing there is we've divided everything by 100. In fact, uh, if you look at this from TWS over here, they've also done the same thing. They, these sizes here are divided by 100. Um, we do that because stocks generally trade in lots of 100. You can trade any size you like. You can buy five or six or whatever, but generally they report in trades of 100. So we've divided everything by 100 for the simple reason that it's a lot easier to read these numbers here than to read these numbers with all the zeros on the end, right? So that's why we've done it. It actually just makes it a lot easier to read. When you place the orders themselves on IB, you place them with your full size. So if you're gonna buy 
100, then you need to type 100 into um, the, you know, the dome. Um, so don't just try to type one in and think you're buying 100. So it's just for display purposes, the volume profile, the market depth, the snapshot, the current trades, just for those purposes, we're dividing everything by 100. So for the stock traders there, my recommendation is really is to get make sure you're up to date on your subscriptions on the IB side and um, and use that there are alternative uh, feeds you can use but they don't give you all of the depth and really if you can do this kind of tra trading you do need all of the depth and as I say we will be bringing on another data feed later um, that's got all the depth so you know you can get away from the subscription limits that we have with IB and have lots and lots of domes so lots of different stocks um, whereas right now IB generally if you're not doing much trading you'll only be able to have three depth and sales and then if you want another one uh, and the level two feed simultaneously you'll get that based on your um, your quantity of trading or you'll get it based on paying them another thirty dollars so instead of doing that we'll provide you with another feed so it's it allows you three level two feeds by default if you need more get in touch with IB um, as your trading uh, volume goes up on the stocks so does the amount of level two feeds they allow and depth and sales they allow so I just wanted to make sure that that was clear uh, and that what we've done with stocks is just done to really make it nice and easy for you to read I mean if you look at the traditional uh, level two on the right here it's a bit of a nightmare to read um, you know compared to the depth and sales so that's it for IB uh, if you're going to report any bugs for the beta uh, we'll give you Fernando's email for that don't go through the traditional support route I know some of you will anyway but um, you know we would prefer it if you uh, went straight to Fernando with that and then he'll reproduce them and send them to the development team so with that I'd like to thank you and uh, welcome you to IB beta and I'll see you in the next video